Okay, so here's something that's a bit annoying. I opened up the activity monitor and I sorted things by the percentage of CPU that they're using. And I found that the Antelope Audio server was running and it was at the top. Before OBS was at the top, Antelope Audio server was at the top. Now, I haven't had an Antelope Audio interface for more than three years now. And I completely uninstalled it and removed every trace of it, so I thought, from the computer. But... Uh, Apparently not, and I haven't been able to find any. I've searched, nothing showed up. So basically what I'm going to do here is show you how to get rid of it. If you're suffering from the same thing, nothing that you've uninstalled should be still running in the background, eating up valuable resources and taking up more resources than anything else when your computer's running idle. But basically you highlight the process, click the little eye icon, That'll bring up this and it'll tell you what it's using. It's using 5.59 gigabytes of virtual memory and it seems to have root access. Like none of this is good. And if I quit it, if I force quit it, it just comes back five seconds later. Just restarts itself. To me, that's kind of like the behavior of a virus or malware or spyware. But what I've found is that if I open this up again and go to sample, it tells me where it's hiding. And I believe that this means that it's a hidden folder. So if I then go to users shared you can see it's arranged by name so it's not there so if i hold in command plus shift and then period it reveals this folder 668.4 megabytes so instead of uninstalling itself it just hit itself and kept running in the background and eating up resources. So you have the server that's just auto starting itself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just nuke that. And then I'm going to kill the process here again. Force quit. Give it five seconds. Gone. I don't know why Antelope feel like they need to be shady about things. If I uninstall something, I want it to be uninstalled. And it feels like even though I ditched Antelope Audio over three years ago, they're still haunting my system. So if you have this process running and you can't figure out why or how to get rid of it, that's how to get rid of it. Hopefully that's helped somebody. Cheers.